Hello students in the today's video we will discuss about the important questions from some topics of physical chemistry so we have already studied about the hsc board examination question paper pattern in the previous videos description box madhe link tachi share kelele ahe tumhi baghu shakta board cha paper kasa asnar ahe marking scheme kashi ahe आणि पेपर कसा सॉल्व करावा सो वेल मूव फॉर द नेक्स्ट सम टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री द सिलेबस और वी हॅव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस व्हिडिओ फिजिकल ऑर्गेनिक इनऑर्गेनिक अँड अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री सो केमिस्ट्री हॅज बीन डिवायडेड फॉर युअर सिलेबस फॉर फोर डिफरंट सब ब्रँचेस नेक्स्ट टू दॅट दॅट इज वेटेज दॅट इज मार्किंग स्कीम ऑफ एच एस सी बोर्ड एक्झामिनेशन सॉलिड स्टेट सोल्युशन आयोनिक इक्विब्रियम अँड केमिकल थर्मोडायनामिक्स विल डिस्कस इन द टू डेज व्हिडिओ सॉलिड स्टेट थ्री टू फाईव्ह मार्क्स सोल्युशन्स फोर टू सिक्स मार्क आयोनिक इक्विलिब्रिया फोर टू सिक्स मार्क अँड केमिकल थर्मोडायनामिक्स सिक्स टू एट मार्क्स सो दिस टॉपिक्स वील डिस्कस इन द टू डेज व्हिडिओ अँड द मार्किंग स्कीम ऑफ अदर टॉपिक्स यू कॅन मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट सो दिस इज युअर ऑर्गॅनिक अँड अप्लाइड केमिस्ट्री टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक सॉलिड स्टेट सो वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टंट पॉईंट फ्रॉम द सॉलिड स्टेट सो वी आर हॅविंग थ्री टू फाईव्ह मार्क्स वेटेज फॉर सॉलिड स्टेट हाऊ द सॉलिड स्टेट हॅज बीन डिवायडेड इट मे बी अकॉर्डिंग टू 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 थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन और इफ फाईव्ह मार्क डिव्हिजन विल बी देअर देन वन टू मार्क वन थ्री मार्क क्वेश्चन्स विल बी देअर और इफ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन वन मार्क टू क्वेश्चन्स विल बी देअर or three mark questions will be there so by which the chapter has been divided so what are the different definitions from this our topic for one mark isomorphism polymorphism unit cell coordination number so these are the different definitions from the topic question may be asked for a two mark question that is explain the crystal and its characteristics with example so ionic crystal कोवॅलंट क्रिस्टल मेटॅलिक क्रिस्टल और मॉलिक्युलर क्रिस्टल दिस विल बी फॉर टू मार्क्स सो वन मोर क्वेश्चन दॅट इज एक्सप्लेन और स्टेट द फोर टाईप्स ऑफ युनिट सेल दिस मे बी ॲस फॉर टू मार्क्स देन इन केस ऑफ डिफेक्ट शॉर्टेड इफेक्ट और फ्रँकल डिफेक्ट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक देन गिव काइंड्स ऑफ इम्प्युरिटी अँड सबस्टिट्युशनल इम्प्युरिटी डिफेक्ट विद एक्झाम्पल सबस्टिट्युशनल इम्प्युरिटी डिफेक्ट सो दिस मे बी ॲस विच इज न्यू क्वेश्चन गिव कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर अँड packing fraction of a crystal and in case of numerical there is a one formula d is equals to zdm divide capital a cube n a so in textbook d is equal to density small d or capital d or rho is equals to density one more the d small d has been re replaced by rho but the formula has been again same and this is capital z is replaced by small n all type of numerical will be solved with the help of this type of formula very important formula d is equals to zdm a cube na d is equals to density z is equals to particles per atom particles per unit cell na avogadro's number capital m molar mass and a is age length of cubic unit cell next solutions and colligative properties so what are the points from solution colligative properties definitions are important from this topic osmosis boiling point osmotic pressure semi permeable membrane hypertonic solution hypotonic solution reverse osmosis isotonic solution these are the important points then with respect to the derivation or state and explain what are the laws principles are there from the topic raoult's law henry's law elevation in boiling point and depression in freezing point this will be for 3 to 4 marks or if law is asked that will be for 2 marks then define solubility and explain the factors effect of it that is for 2 marks colligative properties enlist any four colligative properties uh, four colligative properties that is elevation boiling point depression freezing point osmotic pressure this was the point then relationship between osmotic pressure and vent of factor this may be as on, on the basis of numerical if the molar mass will ask molar mass of solute that is m2 which will be calculated with the help of this formula next to this boiling point elevation delta tb is equals to tb minus delta t delta t sorry tb minus t0 b so values are given here molar mass related to the elevation and boiling point m2 is the molar mass that is 1000 multiplied by kb into w2 divided by delta tb upon w1 the molar mass relationship may be asked or relation with the 
delta p so this is also important from this topic molar mass relation elevation in boiling point delta t b is equals to t b minus t 0 b so this is also important from the topic if delta t 0 b is the boiling point of pure solvent and t b is the of solution then boiling point of solution is always greater than the boiling point of pure solvent because it has some amount of solute dissolved the molar mass of solute and boiling point elevation this is also important numerical from the topic the relation with the molar mass m2 is equals to 1000 k kb 1000 kb into w2 upon delta db w1 so w2 is always weight of solute in grams w1 is the weight of solvent in gram delta db is boiling point elevation and kb is called as abelioscopic constant for the elevation in boiling point or we can call it as boiling point elevation constant then molar mass of solute and the freezing point relationship the molar mass that is m2 which related to the freezing point that is m2 is equals to 1000 kf w2 upon delta tf w1 so this is an important relationship and delta tf that is freezing point depression which can be calculated delta tf is equals to t0f minus tf t0f is what the freezing point for pure solvent and tf is what freezing point of a solution and we know that solvent can easily evaporate and easily freeze so it is always greater then molar mass of solute from osmotic pressure so molar mass is m2 osmotic pressure is pi we can find out the relationship pi is equals to w2 into rt divided by m2 v by which we can calculate molar mass so these are the importance and derivation from the topic next third topic that is ionic equilibria 4 to 6 mark weightage it's also important topic from the syllabus so this has uh, many definitions degree of dissociation that is alpha may be asked then arrhenius theory these are the definitions of acid base according to arrhenius theory according to bronsted theory according to levis theory question may be asked or phpoh definition acidic buffer solution basic buffer solution these are the important derivations what are the different derivations from the topic the relationship between ph and poh here ph is there my mistake it is written poh relationship between ph and poh relationship between solubility and solubility product ostwald dilution law derive an equation for ostwald dilution law this is also important point from the topic numericals and the formula what are the formula from the topic degree of dissociation alpha we know that number of moles dissociated per total number of moles that is your degree of dissociation then equilibrium constant for acid that is dissociation constant for equilibrium ka and kb for base medium for acid and for base then the next one derive the relationship between ph and poh we know that ph scale is about 14 so ph plus poh is 14 0 to 6.9 is acidic strength 7 as a neutral while 7.1 to 14 as a basic character of solution so relationship may be asked or derived equation may be asked for that we are requiring ionic product of water kw is ionic product of water will require for this derivations or uh, relationship between ph and pka or poh with pkb may be asked or one more formula from the topic that is molar solubility numericals will become may becomes according to the molar solubility molar solubility is what moles per liter solubility in gram per liter with the molar mass in the gram per mole next one chemical thermodynamics this is highly weightage topic in the syllabus which has six to eight marks maximum weightage topic containing syllabus one mark question so many definitions are there from this topic that is according to types of system that is open system closed system and isolated system extensive intensive property or what are the types of process isothermal isobaric isochoric adiabatic reversible non-reversible process are there with the definition enthalpy electron gain enthalpy standard enthalpy enthalpy of fusion enthalpy of vaporization sublimation enthalpy of ionization with the bond enthalpy or entropy so these are the definitions may be asked for one mark or two mark explain the term at that time you have to show the example or one case in with the respect to topic then derivations or equations or related to the numericals so derive an equation for pressure volume work at pressure is constant so this equation will be there w is equals to minus px into delta v 
and the second one expression for maximum work w is equals to minus 2.303 nrt log of p1 upon p2 n is equals to number of moles r is equals to gas constant t is equal to temperature so we have to derive this equation with diagrammatical representation with the cylinder expansion you have to show with the decreasing pressure when you are decreasing the pressure on the cylinder at the same time what will be happen the gas will move isothermally and volume get increases that is pressure is inversely proportional to the one volume that relation will also get or this formula may be also derived w is equals to minus 2.303 nrt log of v2 upon v1 the first law of thermodynamics in various process means we have to modify the first law of thermodynamics in isothermal isobaric isochoric and iso adiabatic irreversible process at that time you have to explain this one and relationship between delta h and delta u you know that delta h is equals to delta u plus p delta v this is one relation and one more relation that is ideal gas equation relation you have to show here you have to compare this equation with the ideal gas pressure is equals to pv is equal to nrt by this equation we have to calculate and we have to relate this equation with the ideal gas enthalpy of chemical reaction what is the enthalpy of chemical reaction delta h is equals to enthalpy summation of enthalpy of product minus summation of enthalpy of reactant this formula may be asked for for uh, numericals or reactant with standard enthalpy that is reactant bonds reactant minus product then second law of thermodynamics statement may be as we know that second law of thermodynamics is what total entropy of system and its surrounding increases spontaneously so entropy always increases it never decreases so that is total entropy delta s total is system plus surrounding which is always be greater than zero which never be decreases so it not attains and zero value it is always greater than zero then relationship between delta s and delta g delta g is what gives free energy delta g is equals to minus t delta s total gives free energy function may be asked for exam really derive an equation for this one or numerical may be asked for delta g is equals to delta g zero plus rt ln of q so these are the important point from the topic we have already discussed the question paper pattern which has been divided in four so different subsections a b c d section a which has 18 marks section b has 16 mark section c has 24 marks and section d has 12 marks and one more important thing i already mentioned in the previous video that is the numerical will be there from each sub question means question a question b question c or question d or section a b c d each section has numerical means you have to solve at least one numerical or two numerical if you are having lagging in organic chemistry with the formula and the structure you can solve maximum question from physical and inorganic chemistry in a particular time so this is our question paper how you will solve the question paper within three hours so we are having a particular time that is 190 minutes so utilization according to the section is mentioned here 10 minutes before you will get question paper for reading purpose only and you can solve each question with a particular time still you are getting 10 minutes for the question paper checking what you are written so this is a utilization of time thank you thank you very much in the next video we will discuss about the next topic that is chemical kinetics and some topics from inorganic chemistry that is df block elements and p block element Thank you.